what's up YouTube, Dave here from Zephyr Wargames, bringing you um, the second ABC variant. Now this is probably the the last kind of main one that I'll do. In the future I'll do probably some combos with um, like different tech cards you can put in, because obviously this deck can make um, Ultimate Soul in if you want it to. Um, <coughs> um, there's a cyber, like a full Cyber Dragon version to make it a little bit cheaper. There is um, an ABC XYZ version as well, again, to make it cheaper, because you can pretty much get all of that in the deck. Um, but anyway, this is the Rank 4 version, so the two main ones are the Rank 5 version and the Rank 4 version. Um, and obviously this version in the future will have the ability to make uh, Tree Toad or Toadly Awesome, as it is now called in the TCG. So without further ado, I'll crack on through this, and then at the end I'll show you the alternative cards that you can put in, take out for Toadly Awesome and stuff like that. So, it's pretty similar to the Rank 5 for the starters, so you play Triple A Assault Core, Triple B Buster Dragon, uh, yeah, Buster Drake, Triple C Crush Wyvern, Triple Gold Gadget, Triple Silver Gadget, because obviously these have the ability to give you um, free uh, a free car, a free material um, XYZ like Deltaros and Ouroboros. Uh, two Fulton Thrashers because they're light um, and obviously you can special them at first hand. It's kind of like your Cyber Dragon, but these can go out. Like You can take these out. There's plenty of other Rank 4s in there. As you can see, so obviously there's Double Goblin Berg which with the ability of this can then again lead to a um, free card uh, XYZ. Summon a Monk, obviously a Summon a Monk with a spell that you can discard in hand automatically gives you a level 3. So you, um, you can go Summon a Monk, discard a spell, bring out one of the gadgets, gadget activates their effects to bring out whatever's in hand. Now even if you don't go into like a Deltaros or an Ouroboros, um, if you Summon a Monk into Silver and then Silver's effect to bring gold from hand, you then use Gold's effect to bring another one from hand, so that you've got two rank fours on board in one turn, uh, and then double max C to draw power. So the the monster lineup is relatively simple. It's, it's mainly all cards that can help special summon uh, level fours, and then obviously the machine engine um, for your Buster and all of that. So that's it for the monsters. Really simple, straight to the point. Uh, and then you play Triple Union Hanger, the best card in the deck, or one of the best cards in the deck. So when you activate it, you add a Light Machine monster from your deck to your hand. So obviously that can be any of the ABCs or the gadgets if you really want to. Uh, and then when you normal summon or special summon a Machine Union type, so the ABs and Cs, um, you can attach one from your deck to the deck to the field. Triple Terraforming because you want to be opening up to either a Terraforming or Union Hanger because in that your combo goes off to get you um, the possibility to get you a Buster Dragon or a huge Rank 4 play. Um, Double instant fusion to get your Norden play on board because that is another way into totally awesome and obviously any rank 4 play you want to go into. And then with the second one there, if you've already drawn into one, um, you can dump it with Summon a Monk. Double Twin Twister because this card doesn't, this deck doesn't mind discarding for um, getting the busters, the ABCs into the graveyard, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, again, Burial for Different Dimension, I like this card because then it means you can make two busters in the first turn and then if you really want to, you could put one rank 8 in here, but I'd rather have the two busters on field. Double Quaking Mirror Force, uh, because I've said before, like I really like this Mirror Force, I think it's really good in this game, um, and the fact that it doesn't target or destroy kind of helps out sometimes. Double Solemn Strike, uh, one Solemn Warning, because I think three, as nice as it is to have three to sit consistently, um, I think three is too much in one deck, and I prefer the two to one ratio when there's space. Uh, and the one Vanity's Emptiness, because you flip Vanity's Emptiness when you've got two busters on board, um, you're, you've pretty much got game. So that's it for the main deck. I'll quickly show you the other cards. So the other cards that you could add in um, in the future with Totally Awesome is obviously Tin Goldfish and Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Now you can easily take these out for like Goblin Bergs, you can take these out for Photon Crashes if you really want to because the way I see it is this is kind of like the, the engine for Totally Awesome because you use these guys, go into um, Bahamut Shark and then you detach, special summon out your um, Totally Awesome and that's your rank 4 like engine to make that guy. So Bubble Man is probably um, less likely for the pure fact that, you know, if you have no cards in your hand, but it's more you open up with Tin Goldfish or if Bubble Man's in the graveyard, you um, get Norden out and you, it's just making sure so you've got five targets to make it. So you've got the two Bubble Men, your two Tin Goldfish and then you've got your Norden in your extra deck. So that's kind of how to get into Totally Awesome uh, in a relatively simple way. Um, they are starting to climb in price, but the Rank 4 engine is a bit more budget than the Rank 5 engine because, I mean... 
Photon Fresh has started to go up, Silver and Gold Gadgets have started to go up, but they're getting reprinted near December, so they're absolutely fine. Some of the monks you can still pick up for a couple of quid. Goblin Bergs are relatively cheap. Um, obviously, the ABCs, you just get them all in the starter decks. Vanity's warning, Strikes is still about a tenner, but you can obviously drop them out. You don't have to play them if you're on a bit of a budget. Um, Instant Fusions, Terraformers, and Union Hangers are all really cheap. So the main decks, like within reason, apart from the Strike, is all relatively cheap. Now on to the extra deck. So you got Giggy and X. Obviously, you detach, search out a machine type, so that just helps you get your cards if you go into a dead hand. Um, Norden, obviously, to go into your rank four plays easier. Rhapsody Berserker, just to boost up your Buster Dragons. Cowboy for games. Um, Digusta Emerald to recircle stuff in the graveyard or draw stuff. You don't really need to play him because you want your A, Bs and Cs um, banished for the effect. Uh, Diamond Die Wolf. Now, people are saying to put this up to two. There's nothing wrong with putting this up to two, but the fact is that it still targets... <clears throat> Sorry. Dry throat. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it's still targeted, so it's not exactly, you know... Yes, it's good in a rank 4 deck, you could put this up to 2, you could take up the Augusta Emerald and go into 2 Diamond Dyers, but the main cards on the field that can't be targeted, it doesn't have as big of an effect as it does. Uh, Castell, obviously, uh, Bounce card, Abyss Dweller for locking out the back row, um, Utopia, and then Utopia the Lightning, because, obviously, he's busted as heck when you get him out. Um, Bujin Tsukiyomi... So you can, if you've got the gadgets gadgets in hand, you activate the gadgets, um, straight away get a Bujin Tsukiyomi, discard your entire hand if you've got the ABCs in there, uh, and then you're drawing new cards and your ABCs are in your grave, ready to bring out this guy, ABC Dragon Buster. Now obviously this is an incredibly strong card in the deck. You discard one to banish one, um, and then during your opponent's turn, and that's a quick effect during either player's turn, uh, and then during your opponent's turn you can tribute this card off, and then... Special summon the free banished light machine union monsters you've used with different names. So you basically get all three back to fill up your board. And then next turn, if they're still there, or even if they're not, if they're sent to the graveyard, you go straight back into a Buster Dragon. Discard, banish, um, attack, opponent's turn, discard, banish, uh, tribute, bring back free. And then you're less likely to be hit with Kaijus. I mean, if you do it um, earlier, you've got your free cards on board. And then even if they're in a graveyard, you've still got a Buster Dragon next turn, and it's just a lot easier than your opponent going, one Kaiju, gone. So, yeah, his second ability is really quite good. Um, and then obviously, so these aren't part of the extra deck, but these are suggestions. So obviously you've got Turn Knight Deltaros, if you want to be going into that, Evil Swarm Ouroboros, and then obviously Bahamut Shark for the future with Totally Awesome, and then you would put Totally Awesome in. Um, so that's kind of how you can make Totally Awesome in this deck. So that's kind of it for the deck profile. Now, like I said before, I'll, I'll quickly touch over the other kind of variants that I've been sent um, to have a look at. So, we've got, obviously, um, the Rank 5 engine, which was shown to you guys yesterday. You've obviously got a variant where you can put Ties of the Brethren in. Um, it's a little bit slower, but obviously it helps you get your A, Bs and Cs on field and to the grave a lot quicker. Uh, the, there's the probably the cheapest variant of all, which is the A, B, C, X, Y, Z variant because you pretty much get everything you need to make that go in the starter decks you just buy free starter decks which i think are floating around what, about eight pound each in the uk when they come out so that's that variant there's obviously a cyber dragon variant so if you really like your cyber dragons and you want to make it a little bit cheaper um in a rank five engine then obviously you've got your cyber dragons your cyber dragon cores um electromagnetic turtles i've got in some of these um, and then obviously Cyber Repair Plant and stuff like that, and that helps you get into your Infinities, um, because we all know that Transmodifiers and Galaxy Soldiers, unfortunately, Transmodifiers were only reprinted once in the Megatins, and Galaxy Soldiers haven't been reprinted at all, so they're still really expensive to get a playset. Um, another interesting one that was sent was um, a ABC Kaiju variant. Now, obviously, this one revolves around using um, Chimeratech Rampage Dragon and Chimeratech Fortress Dragon in the extra deck, but um, you use one Cyber Dragon, um, two, uh, three Cyber Dragon cores, uh, two Cyber Dragon repair plants, and then your Kaijus are two Jizakuru, the Star Destroying Kaiju, because obviously he's a machine monster. You dump that on your opponent's side of the field, and then you normal summon any of these. You fuse straight away for a Kamara Tech Fortress Dragon. Uh, and then the other one is Kaimungus, the Sticky String Kaiju. 
and then you can play two um, Disrupted Kaiju Slumber just to get those cards on the board a hell of a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the different kind of variants that there are out there. I don't want to flood you guys um, with these decks. I just want to give you as many different options as you want. If there are particular variants that you would like to see, that you'd like me to build and show you guys, that's absolutely fine. Just let me know and I will do so. Not an issue with that. Um, so keep an eye out because tomorrow will be the opening of the ABCs and Gadget decks. Uh, Magnet decks, sorry. And also we'll be having a giveaway thanks to our good friends at Lost Ark Games. Also... Um, keep an eye out because I will be doing a magnet deck for those of you that are interested that want to see what you can do with that deck. Um, my friend Joe has brought that over, um, has built one up for us. So we'll, we'll take a look at that um, on Friday, hopefully. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, guys, happy dueling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles pack openings and of course duels and don't forget to click on the most important button of all that subscribe button right in the bottom left hand corner so thanks for watching this video we hope you can join us some more and as always happy dueling guys